Hey friend, so there's a lot of talk about AI agents right now, which might leave you thinking, what is that and what does it mean? So two terms that you probably hear any techies that you see online or in your business mention, especially when it comes to AI products are AI assistants and AI agents. Now, what I want to do is explain the difference in as clear and simple terms as possible, because these are going to be both useful things to know no matter what you do with AI tools. So let's start with what we know. We have AI assistants like ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot and such. These are tools that help us with tasks through conversation. So they can write, they can analyze information, they can explain and they can give suggestions based on what we ask in that conversation. Now, AI agents take this a step further, and I think they're really interesting as part of the next level of our application layer of how a lot of us, or should I say non-techies, can get more out of using generative artificial intelligence tools. Instead of just helping you in a conversation, agents can actually complete tasks on their own. You can set them up to follow instructions, connect them with different tools, and get them to make basic decisions to get things done based on their reasoning. People might say, oh, isn't automation does that? No, automation is something very different. If you were to automate a task for another tool, there is no reason in there that is all based upon having everything set in a perfect row. If the automation fails, it fails. But for an agent, they can collect data, they can make adaptions, they can contact people, there's lots more that they can do. The key difference, as I said, is AI assistants help you with tasks. So you converse and you work with them together. AI agents can complete tasks for you so they can become part of your team, part of your workflow. Now, both are valuable. Both serve different purposes. Like I say, an assistant will work with you through conversation, through collaboration, through a partnership. While an agent is gonna work independently based on your instructions and guidelines. So don't freak out about being out of the loop. There is still a human in the loop there. Now, what I want to do is give you some examples of AI agents in action. So you can see exactly what this could look like for your work and what's happening currently at many businesses. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's keep it simple here. As we said before, what we're looking at is an example from Google on a flight booking agent. And we'll talk about the differences here between an assistant and an agent in doing this. In this scenario, we can see the user has said they wanna book a flight from Austin to Zurich, and they're now talking to this agent. And you can see its thought process. The question from the user, the thought process, the action that the agent is taking, and what they're continuing to do after that. Agents have access to tools, so they can look up flights, they can search for them, they can access code to book flights, they can use calculators for pricing, all of this stuff. They're also powered by a model, so large language model. In this example, it's going to be Google Gemini. You can use OpenAI's models. You can use any models that you want to. The difference here is that if you were to talk to an assistant, an assistant would just pull back and say, hey, you know, here are the flights. Go to this link to book the flights. But what we can do here is this agent can find you the flights and get you all the details. It can book the flight for you. It can handle all of your documentation and check you in too. In this example, agents have access to the tools to do that, to allow them to complete that task. Whereas an assistant in this example would basically just help you to get to that rather than do it for you. Now, if we take a look at another example from Salesforce, which has built a agent network called Agent Force, Great work there on the branding, guys. Then what you can see here again is a plain example of how this works. You can see someone's talking to an agent. So where they're saying, hey, what's the best product that I can buy next based on my order history? What that agent is able to do is to connect to the tools that it's using. So it can plan and say, this is what I'm going to do to help the customer. Then it goes in to execute that. It looks at all of the tools and services that it has access to. It can access all of this data and then it can come back to that customer and say, okay, based on all of your history, these are the products that we recommend you buy. Would you like to purchase them? And then the agent can do that for them as well. So two very quick examples on that. 
I do have a third that you can check out if you want to. There is a separate YouTube video on this that I will provide. I won't explain it all here, but I have an example where I have used a team of AI agents to help with new starter onboarding and help with basic tasks. Where what we see a lot of these agents help? Well, from research, we can see that people are looking to use agents for research, for personal assistance, customer service that feels kind of pretty obvious, coding. So those of you who are using tools like Replit, Cursor, example, you're aware of this already. As we covered, agents are the kind of next brewing big thing, you might say, and they're going to be really interesting in how you can make more use of AI tools to help you in your workflow. I hope it's been helpful and I'll speak to you in the next one.